module of online refresher course on pedagogical innovations and research methodology. I am Dr. Poonam Punia, Assistant Professor in Institute of Teachers Training and Research, Bhagat Phool Singh Mahila Vishwavidhalaya, Khanpur Kala. Today we will learn about digital technologies in the classroom. By the end of today's session, you will understand about the meaning, concept of digital technology, different ways of integrating technology in the classroom. You will be acquainted with the advantages of digital technologies in the classroom and will gain insight on the challenges and obstacles in the way of technology integration. In this module, I am going to explain how digital revolution encourages active learning and help in the construction of knowledge, enhances better communication and content sharing between teacher and student. Like any other field, technology has brought radical changes in the life of teacher and students. Nowadays, it is impossible for a teacher to stay away from the impact of digitalization of education. So first, let us have a look at the concept of digital technology. Digital technology include all those devices, applications, methods and systems which are based on the digital format. In broader term, it comprises of all those electronic devices and systems which utilize numeric code and or digital information for their functioning. It is used in mobile phones, computers, social media, online games, industries and online shopping etc. Like any other field, the use of digital technology in teaching is becoming very popular across the world. Some countries like Japan are leading us in the area of digitalization in classrooms and have tested the impact of complete digitalization of class through many research studies. In contrast to the past, now students and teachers want, want to have a digital platform for giving pre-work assignments, providing online assistance and answering to students' queries. They do not want to restrict their knowledge within the physical boundaries of a classroom, school, college or university. Moreover, digital classrooms have shown tremendous scope and opportunities to facilitate learning. Heraclitus, who was a Greek philosopher, rightly said that change is the only constant in life. Hence, no person and no profession can remain same years after years and change is inevitable and will certainly happen. If we look back in the history of technology, integration in the classroom, then you will see and you will observe that teaching methods, approaches and teaching aids have been changing continuously. Let us understand this with the help of various developments in the area of educational technology, which have influenced teaching in a very progressive way. In 1801, Blackboard was used by George Barron in lecture course in USA. Then magic lanterns, a primitive form of projectors were invented in 1870 in Germany. The teachers used magic lanterns for projecting images in the classroom. Later on, videos were introduced in 1951 and overhead projectors in 1960. First personal computer was made by Hewlett Packard in 1973, which was a major step in the advancement of technology. Afterwards, World Wide Web was introduced by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989, which is basically an information sharing system. It has played very important role in popularizing internet by enabling sharing of document easily over the net. Interactive whiteboards were introduced in 1999 and since then they have been key elements of smart technologies till now. YouTube is a social platform which was launched in 2005 and it allows us to share and access user created videos and many teachers have used it as an educational tool in their classrooms. As we have understood one thing that the change is unavoidable and a teacher cannot escape from the change. History has given a clear reflection that technology when integrated carefully in the classroom have changed the whole process of teaching and learning. Therefore, a teacher should use technology as a powerful tool to create meaningful learning experiences. There are a number of ways by which technology can be integrated in the classroom. It includes bring your own devices, e-portfolio, flipped classrooms, virtual learning environment, personal learning network, interactive whiteboards and web 2.0. Now let us understand these one by one. First of all, we will discuss about the concept of bring your own device. It is also called as bring your own technology. This technique encourages the use of personal devices like tablet, smartphone, 
laptop their learning activity. It is a cost effective and learner friendly technique and allows the learner to access content anywhere, anytime. As we all know, most of us purchase smart devices. So with this technology, we can make use of self owned devices in a productive manner and the learner will be more comfortable in handling their own devices. In this, a teacher is expected to stay abreast with the changing technology as the learner would stay updated which will ultimately encourage teacher to use latest technology for teaching learning process. The second and very important way of integrating digital technology in the classroom is through e-portfolio. Now what is e-portfolio? It is an electronic catalog where students can keep a record of all their work, goals and achievements at one place. It is like creating a personal website which is used to record, reflect and evaluate the process of learning at any time. It is a platform where the information and the content are collected, shared and reflected. E-portfolios can help a student in showcasing their best learning. The main purpose of e-portfolio is to enhance students learning by keeping them engaged and providing them feedback. E-portfolio is also helpful in the personal and professional development of a student. Creating e-portfolio is a stepwise process and the teachers should start with smaller assignments and then go further. Students should be encouraged to share their work with each other so that feedback can be given. The teacher can use e-portfolio for tracking the progress of the students at any time. So, we can say that when we integrate e-portfolio in the classroom, the total teaching learning process will blossom and will foster learning above anything else. By now, we have understood how bring your own technology and e-portfolio can facilitate the whole process of teaching and learning. Next in the list is flipped classrooms. As the name suggests, it is a type of pedagogical approach which has inverted the traditional approach of delivering and acquiring content or learning material. It means learning of instructional material is often introduced online so that the learner can access the content beforehand and his queries, doubts and problems can be taken and resolved during the class. Teacher must be well versed with the technology as flipped classroom requires knowledge of certain tools like YouTube, social media, devices like smartphone and laptop, web links and websites. Flipped classroom provide more opportunity of interaction between student and teacher and help them in constructing knowledge outside and inside the classroom. Many research studies have reported multiple benefits of flipping like increase in the efficiency, personalized learning and availability of more time for group work and learning skills. This type of practice will help the teacher by sparing more time for working with the students individually. In this type of classrooms, students participate actively learn more meaningfully and feedback can be given more frequently. In this way, the flipped classroom can be a great help in personalized learning. Another way of digital technology integration is through virtual learning environment. It is a virtual or online pedagogical approach where students and teachers interact online and are physically separated in the terms of space, time or both. It can be elaborated further as platform or virtual environment where students can have access to different courses, learning material with the device of internet connectivity. Here, teacher communicate with the students through electronic medium like emails, chats, discussion forums and web conferencing. The teacher can create and share their presentations, handouts, videos and web links. Course is divided into parts and the content is presented stepwise along with assignments. Moodle, Frontier, WebCity and Blackboard are some of the examples of virtual learning environment. The basic features of virtual learning environment are, it provides a platform for self-paced and personalized learning where the student can interact and collaborate with others. It also provides more flexibility to the learners because of the availability of learning material easily. High quality modules and educational games are used for making learning more engaging, interesting and real-time assessment is done for maintaining consistency. A teacher can also personalize learning paths for the individual as per their need. It 
overcomes many shortcomings of distance and physical environment as here teacher can collaborate with large number of students at the same time and the student can work according to their time pace and requirement personal learning network is another way of integrating digital technology in the classroom let us understand what is personal learning network it is a network that connects people from different organizations with a focus on learning the basic aim of pln is to exchange ideas information resources and support learning on the topic of interest it simply means expanding your network and reach to the people of similar interest exchange ideas information and resources with, with each other it is beyond the limitation of time and space because one can easily find people from similar areas on the internet it helps in the professional development of an individual personal networking can be done by using twitter pinterest facebook skype blogs rss feeds and google suite interactive whiteboards is the next in the list which is one of the most popular technology in the classroom it is also known as smart boards now let us understand what is interactive whiteboard it is a large display in the form of whiteboard which is interactive in nature it allows the users to interact with the content by using a finger or stylus or the board a digital projector is used to display the image on the large whiteboard with interactive whiteboard a teacher can take notes annotate its content and can save it for later use teacher can also write on the board surface which can be saved and shared as a digital content later on it facilitate multi sensory hands on learning and result in consistent improvement in almost all the subjects it can also be used very effectively for brainstorming group discussions and promoting cooperation and collaboration among the students it triggers students to think outside the box and makes learning more creative vivid and engaging even difficult concepts can be easily taught with the help of audio visual tools available with the interactive whiteboard it has a positive impact on the motivation level attitude and attention of the students in addition to this a teacher can use it very effectively for the repetition of the content for the struggling learners for inclusive classrooms it is one of the best strategies of teaching now let us understand what is web 2.0 it was invented by darcy dinucci and also known as second generation of world wide web it has various additional features like dynamicity easy to use content generation by the user two way interaction between user and creator it is a very important tool for the teachers as well as students as they can collaborate research write and access the content it has influenced the learning style of the students and has blurred the boundaries between content generator and user the students get the opportunity to express themselves and interact globally some of the most popular web 2.0 tools include blogs podcast youtube and wikis blogs are similar to the diary entries published on the internet and may contain authors thoughts ideas images and videos on a topic where readers can post comment and provide feedback this type of application provides a platform for the exchange and development of knowledge where information can be provided to large number of people at the same time similarly podcasts are a series of audio and video recordings on the internet it is the latest technology which was invented in february 2004 and can be accessed using ipod computer smartphones and other similar devices wikis is a website run collaboratively for providing knowledge to the users here the users get the opportunity to add modify and structure the content directly from the web browser web 2.0 has provided the opportunity to share and collaborate online and made web experience more dynamic and interactive now let us understand why we must use digital technologies in the classroom use of digital technologies have made learning simpler easier and more engaging the students have shown considerable improvement in the retention of the content and information digital presentations and animations save teachers time in classroom and in addition teacher can use his teaching and learning material in the form of videos and e content with adequate updates over and over again it results in more engagement and in depth learning as the students remain more active interested and engaged during learning process 
The best thing about the digital technology is that the learner can easily access information from anywhere beyond geographical constraints. This provides flexibility in the learning as the students can use and retrieve the content in accordance with his capability and interest. Students can even participate in video conferencing uh, with the teachers and tutors in real time. Learning with digital technology provides the best opportunity for the learners to gain education through open and distance mode without compromising the quality. One of the best feature of the digital technology is artificial intelligence, which allows a teacher to design individualized learning paths for different learners, hence result in personalized and independent learning. This feature can become landmark for education of children with special needs. Although technology is expensive at the initial stage, but it provides many ways to save money. Various organizations and institutions, teachers can easily assess the progress of the students and can immediately give feedback to the students. Digital technology has provided opportunity for both teachers and the students to interact with each other anytime, anywhere. Learners' idea may go beyond curriculum as they get many opportunities to learn from different resources in different form. Digital learning fosters and inspires independent and critical thinking among students. Many time-consuming and tedious tasks such as attendance, evaluation and grading has been made automated with the use of technology. Despite many benefits of digital technologies, its use in the classroom has remained a controversial issue. The opinion of the teachers, parents and policy makers continue to be divided on its potential of transforming education. On one hand, many countries are experimenting with the use of digital technology in the classroom and on the other hand, many have shown resistance on its use in the education. But technology can also lead to disruptive transformations and various issues may arise when technology is used in informal setting. A teacher may encounter many problems and challenges while using technology in the classroom. Some of them are distraction and cheating are two basic problems associated with the use of technology by the students during testing and quizzes. Then it becomes very difficult for a teacher to assess the progress of the student accurately. Students with 24 hours internet access may get easily distracted from their path of learning and can waste their time in undesirable activities. Educators feel more comfortable with traditional methods of teaching and often resist changes as they do not want to come out of their comfort zone. Non-availability of proper hardware and software support in many schools is also a major hurdle for the teachers. Moreover, teachers do not get proper training and guidance for effective use of technology. When students learn through their own devices in the school, then their devices may differ in the features and capabilities. Teachers may be required to give additional instructions for some devices which may need longer time. In a developing countries like India, many students and teachers do not have access to technology and internet for different reasons. In such situation, it becomes very difficult to use technology inside and outside the classrooms, especially in rural areas. Many teachers believe that technology may lead to different issues like safety and security. Other than this, health issues are also associated with this, like strain in the eyes, headache, dizziness, and bad posture are very commonly associated with the use of digital devices for learning. In addition, students may feel isolated, which may prove detrimental for their emotional development. So in the last, in nutshell, we can say that there is no doubt that digital technology has enormous potential for improving self-directed learning. However, digital technology in the classroom have been a debatable issue in many parts of the world. And despite robust online culture across the world, these technologies have been gradually introduced in the classroom's informal teaching. Many teachers lack orientation for new technology and perceive it as a danger of security. However, if we consider technology as destructive, means we are losing its great potential from being used in the field of education. It must be clear in everybody's mind that technology integration in the classroom is much more than the use of electronic devices. Therefore, it requires careful planning before integration. 
Educational digitalization should not be misunderstood with equipping campus with smart boards and Wi-Fi as these are the only basic elements of digitalization and technology has much more to offer in the field of education. Now, the time has come when the teachers and the classrooms must be digitally equipped in real sense. So this concludes our today's module. Thank you.